um, yeah, I'm just frustrated with him. I, you know, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm scared that he's not gonna have a future. You know what I mean? Okay, thanks for coming for sharing with us, um, Sully. Would you like to speak? Um, yeah, I'd like to add something. You act as though you were never like me before. Like you were never young and foolish and far from a model student. Did you forget that you once walked in my shoes? When you would fall into stupidity, toes and feet first. Play with life although many times told to rehearse. Jumped into relationships and chose to forego the research. Like you ain't been there, done that and bought the t-shirt. Like you never had a dream that you would strive for One that you were willing to dedicate your life for You act as though you were perfect When you parlay your knowledge around as though you were equipped with it I'll say it straight Most parents are hypocrites Cause you can forget that you were once exactly like me Except when it's time to remind me that you know better And close your argument with Experience is the best teacher But you see that doesn't always work Because just because you spent years in the classroom That doesn't mean that you always learn And just because you experience something That doesn't mean that we have to infer That you were the best student either And I'll openly admit that in most instances parents are right but it's not about our decisions being right or wrong It's more about using your experience to sympathise And let us know that you at least understand where we're coming from Cause at least then we can take that in all seriousness and then decide But instead it's I'm big, you're small, I'm right, you're wrong And there's nothing you can do about it You make our decisions sound irrational and practical When I'm sure there was a time when you had the exact same thought When you probably didn't know what you wanted to do with your life by the time you were 18 And had not already achieved it by 25 And when it came to everything else it was all about patience and timing right But when it came to me and my life those lessons no longer applied Cause I had to be great tomorrow or my plans had to work out today If I'm not a millionaire right now then all my efforts have been in vain We look up to you as our teachers and our leaders But how are we supposed to achieve success if the person that's supposed to be our biggest fan is never in the bleachers? It's like chasing a dream with a coach that has no faith in the team. To parents whose son spends all day playing football games on that Xbox and that PSS3 that you spent too much money on just to shut him up for his birthday, well did you know that there are thousands of people on YouTube making money from doing exactly the same and millions of more opportunities in industries related to game? Have you ever tried to cultivate that interest? Have you ever even touched the controller except when he left it on the floor and you broke it by accidentally stepping on it, withering in pain, watching him complain as you told him that you're not going to buy him a new one because it shouldn't have been on the floor in the first place and every time he slipped in a grade or stayed out too late you locked it away. I know a girl who according to her parents spent too much time at singing recitals so they tell her to shut up so they can watch American Idol. I know a child who is trying to start a business which his parents have never shown an interest in or have a penny invested. But still encourage him to sit down with them and watch The Apprentice What about the ones that are constantly emphasising the importance of having a backup plan? The kicker is the backup plan concept I don't even need to explain that because everybody knows what I'm referring to But let me put it like this How comfortable would you feel standing on the front line with a general Who keeps emphasising your role and its importance But spends his whole time investing his efforts in the reinforcements Just think for a second Because if you show more interest in a person's backup plan Than the actual plan Then you're actually accurately, fractionally, factually And practically, tactfully, didactically, drastically Showing where your faith in his plan actually stands Put yourself in our sneakers for a bit And because statistics show I think that between 16 and 18 your feet no longer grow so it's not that they don't fit it's just that since you started walking on water you've forgotten it and stop trying to overshadow but understand us kids because eventually when they become adults any success they have rather than just contributing I bet you'd rather they say that you were actually a part of it P no actually wait because apparently I'm a patron of confusion and never offer any solutions to fairly obvious conclusions simply because I feel it's not my place to say that my opinion works for everyone but just in this instance here is a simple one talk to your little one because no matter how much you like to believe it it's 2013 and no one is really a kid anymore with access to clips at our fingertips we're exposed to the world without having to open the front door so ask them what their dream is how and what we not they 
we can do to achieve it. Your children are your biggest asset. So invest time in speaking, invest time in listening, invest time in hearing, invest time in learning how to play pro evolution soccer and fashion trends and sing Beyonce. Just invest time and not just being a responsible adult. And I agree, you spoil the child if you spare the rod. But ultimately, we just want you to believe in us. Because a family is the strongest corporation that you can have. Yeah. Peace. Pictures on my phone, just these pictures on my phone. And all my friends with just these pictures on my phone. See these pictures on my phone. Got me visualizing home to a place where I.